Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm standing inside a T-Mobile store in the Samsung Galaxy Zone with Dez, our old friend. Hey guys. And he's holding on to a Galaxy Note 3. And we're going to play with this a little bit. Woohoo! Do a little demo. Oh, we've got three. We've got Note three threes. of them. Well, I've got a couple of new ones for you, and we'll just go through. We're just gonna skip right through all the boot up stuff. Oh, so this has just been turned on for the I've first time. I just pulled it out of a box and turned it on for you. This will be our first impressions, if you will. We've got one fresh out of the box. We've got one heavily customized by by myself, uh, and essentially this is the new Galaxy Note three. Now the cool thing about the Note three is it's essentially the same width. Just a tiny bit longer, but you'll see it's just a little bit thinner than Galaxy Note 2. Uh, it's got more of that machined metal finish you're looking at there on the sides, and I don't know if I took off all the little plastic wrappers on that particular guy. Quite all right. But uh, nice refined look. It's got that uh, leather feel back plate. Yeah. Uh, with a cool raised stitching. So they've uh, they've definitely taken the Note 3 kind of upscale, made it uh, made it higher end. Um, I think it's uh, it just feels really great in hand. Nice, high quality. Well, there's texture on the back, so yeah. it's got a bit more of a little grip. More, a little more grip, right? Hopefully, we won't drop it. Uh, it we've gone from a 5.5 up to a 5.7. The Note 2 was 720p. This is a full 1080p screen. And there's a great picture of Hawaii right there in the background for you guys. You know, there's some cool little indicators up at the top, text messages. A Knox, which is their really super secure solution. You see there's a little camera icon up there and a little watch icon up there. And we'll talk about Galaxy Gear in a couple minutes, but Galaxy Gear is the companion smartwatch that you can purchase along with the Note. It's an, uh, it's an accessory, but it's really cool. It does a lot of cool stuff. So, with Note 3, I'm just going to get frame rate as fast as I can. <laughs> I know you like that. Well, it's very responsive. But really responsive. Snapdragon 800, uh, 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. Screaming, screaming fast. But it's a big, bright, beautiful screen. Great features. You notice if we go in the app drawer, I only have two pages of apps. This is a new feature of TouchWiz. We've actually got the little folders already set up with various, you know, your T-Mobile apps, your Samsung apps. So if you loved the Note 2, this You're gonna is, love the Note. This three. is a great. This is a really great upgrade. Really great upgrade. 13 megapixel camera on the back. Some cool features in the camera. That same camera UI that you saw on Galaxy S4. See, we're uh, we've got we're at the Galaxy Zone, so it's doing little demos behind us. But I mean, bam! Press and hold for burst. There was 20 shots. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Pretty fast. I think it was about three seconds. We had 20 shots. Of course, the modes, now they have surround shot, which is kind of like your Google Photosphere, panorama, golf mode, because you and I are big, huge yeah. golfers, and we're going to need this all the time. Do they have a mini golf mode yeah. in there? <laughs> so just got a notification on the watch. Check that out. It's from my buddy Dan. Uh, how awesome is that's just a marketing message if I've ever seen it in my life. We'll just skip out of that and go right back to, to playing with the note. But that's the Galaxy Gear watch. More of that in a minute. So the big differences between the two and the three? Narrower, a little thinner, a little bit lighter, full HD, 1080p screen, 13 meg camera, and then my favorite feature. So Note 2, I didn't use my S Pen a whole heck of a lot. Note 3, I'm using my S Pen all the time, and let me show you why. So you saw that little air command button pop up. You can bring that up anytime. You got great features. Action memo, scrapbooker, screen write, S Finder and Pen Window. Let's start with this one, Action Memo. Totally cool. You get a little sticky now, right? But the cool thing is if someone calls you, if Bob calls you and he says, hey, my number's 55512, oh, my handwriting's terrible, <laughs> one, two, I can use this, look, it recognizes it as a phone number and hey, let's go call that. You get the idea, right? Really cool. So with Action Memo, the notes you're writing down mean something. Maybe it's an address and we can go look at it on Google Maps. Or maybe it's a URL for a web address and we can look at there. Or it's an email, we drop right in. But it recognizes that this is something and takes you quick with action buttons to the thing you want to use it for. We'll drop into Chrome, we'll look at some, I was down in the Portland area and I was looking for various restaurants to eat at. Now if this is something I want to save, I can quickly scrapbook this and just outline what I want to save. 
Now you see it saved the search query URL and then a picture of the results. I can save that right in my scrapbook and then check this out. Later when I want that information back, pull it right back up. And, actually I'm moving a little too fast, and even interact with it. There we are, right back to where we were. So when you guys are going on a vacation or something like that, make a list of places you want to go, things you want to see, and then quickly pull that information back up. Another cool feature is with S-Note. I got a workout log. Let's do a new note. Of course, writing. Anytime you want to comment about how terrible my handwriting is, no worse than mine. Save it. Call it whatever. Now you saw, if we go back, I've got a bunch of notes, workout logs, con got a little housework going on right now, obviously. My workout log, I can actually see things I'm doing, reps, stuff like that, chest, pecs, you know, trying to get big, right? So we'll go back. And from the, again, home screen or anywhere actually, bring up that S Finder this time. Now this is really cool. I can either write in here. Pecs. People are going to laugh at us on this one, I'm telling you now. No, they'll laugh at my pecs. So you can see actually in S Note, it recognizes my handwriting and find stuff like that. Or I can search on the web. Or if I was looking for a contact or an email chain between myself and someone else. So you know like someone that. named Pex? I, I, I luckily don't know anybody named Pex. <laughs> that would be a little weird. <laughs> As we look at a couple of the other features, we saw a scrapbooker. Screen right. Now this is really cool. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to take a quick picture. Okay. And we're going to. So you can imagine you meet uh, one of your. Maybe you meet a Lego designer, Chris. Ooh. And you want him to autograph your photo. Screen right. So you can annotate. You got it. The Note 2 you could write on the back of the picture, but it wouldn't really save it, it wouldn't really transfer it. The cool thing about Note 3 is you can write right here on the front of the picture, or on a map, meet me here, or on a notepad or anything like that, and then you could obviously share this with the same Android share intent to all these great applications and features. So really, really useful stuff with the S Pen this go around. So we won't keep that this time. Uh, and then I think we got all those cool features. Oh, and then the other cool one, pen window. This is a lot like, you know they how they have the kind of the dual screen feature, but they call it multi-window. So you can do something similar with pen window. I want, in that little box I just drew, a calculator. And there we go. And I can, you know, grab the calculator and I can move it around off the screen. I can go to other screens. You see it's just kind of a nice little overlay on top. And then I can get rid of it. So it works really well. Great, great features with the S Pen, more so than the Note 2. I thought the Note 2 did really well with the S Pen. This takes it to a whole new level. Then pair it with a Galaxy Gear smartwatch. I mean, the productivity, the things you can do, the pictures you can grab here that are automatically transferred back here, uh, the functionality, the productivity, and even what I think now for the first time ever with the Note, the creativity with the device. Sketching, drawing, all that kind of fun stuff. It's really, really, really cool. So what do you think? I think it's a great upgrade. <laughs> and it comes in white too. Yeah. And in the black. Diana likes the white, yes? Ew. Nice! <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna send her home with a lovely parting gift today. <laughs> Diana? <laughs> I really like this. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I really do. And we have uh, you know matching white Galaxy Gear smartwatches to go with the one. Even with rose gold. I know it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but That's she awesome. she instantly recognized it. Yes. Right? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> no way.